This is a guitar tutorial for Solo by Clean Bandit featuring Demi Lovato. So it goes one. How's everyone doing? My name is Dave Donahue, the guitar coach, and every week I put up new tutorials for all the latest pop releases. So let's take a look. And before we begin, I have one very quick question. What is your favorite Clean Bandit collaboration? A student came to me last week and they were asking how come bands like Clean Bandit use guest singers so much? Thought it was a really good question. Love to hear your own thoughts, especially about which one is your favorite. Just post a comment below. The first thing I'm gonna say is we need to have a capo on the second fret. There are only four chords in the entire song. A minor, four finger G, E minor and F. I like to use this one, this sort of more open chord shape. Yeah, you can use a regular bar chord if you wish, and in the description of the video below, I'll have the chord diagrams written out. Okay, and as you can see then, these are the chords for our verse and our pre-chorus. Uh, the thing about it as well is they're also the chords for the chorus, but we do something slightly different, which we'll take a look at in a moment. So for this, all you need to do for the simple version of the rhythm is go one and two, so you clap on the strings on the beat and on the off beat you just strum up. So it goes one. There is a more slightly complex one which I will play as an example. So if you're an ear player and you've played more complex rhythms, if you want to copy the one that's coming up, feel free. Okay, now for this part, we have guitar tab. It is based around the same chords. The rhythm is the main thing I'd like to draw your attention to. If you look at each bar, you begin to notice that it's the same rhythm in every bar. Now, what I'll cover first are the chords. So we have an open A string and second fret on D. We get that. Then we get third fret on E string and open. Then open, second fret on A. Then a power chord here as well to end. First fret from the capo, third fret from the capo on the E and the A strings. Uh, for extra effects, you can pan mute it. Like if I go and to pan mute, all you need to do is move this strumming hand closer over the bridge and rest it there. Okay, so now we've covered the chords, we've covered the way we can mute it to make it more percussive. The last thing left to cover is the rhythm. So it goes, and this is the count for every single bar. So it goes one and two E and A. Notice the way I subdivided that second beat. So it goes one and two E and A, three and four and. All you need to count is one and two E and A, three and four and on every bar. You will see that second beat is the one to watch. So it goes one and two E and a three and four. One and two E and a three and four. And you get the idea. And when I speed that up, it goes one, two, three, four. Back again. And you notice at times like this, like I, I, well, not that you can see my feet, but I don't tap them as I play this sort of stuff. I kind of just groove my head along with the rhythm. So it could be an idea to try that. So that covers our chorus. And there's just one little bit left to cover then. This is the bit that comes directly after the chorus. Uh, I haven't written out chord diagrams for this, just to encourage a bit more of, we'd say, copying along and beginning to memorize the chords. So it's very simple. It's A minor, G, C, and F. Very similar to the other chord progression, just we swapped out one or two. So it's the same offbeat rhythm as well. So it goes one, two, three, four. And those are all. 
all the parts of Solo by Clean Bandit featuring Demi Lovato. If you have any questions, post a comment below. I'll be happy to answer. And if you want to keep up to date for all the latest tutorials that I'm putting up every week, just hit subscribe below. Catch you soon.